Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Movember. Today, I wanted to do a really quick get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go and film for you guys some DIY crafts. And uh, before I got on the camera, I wanted to put on some lashes and a little lipstick. Um, I'd like to hear down below if you guys would actually like to see a makeup routine. Um, I don't know that that's something you guys would be interested in, but anyway, it is something that I am gonna do uh, once my skin issue gets resolved. And I do see the dermatologist on Monday. So that's something that I'm really excited about. So if you are new here, this is Raina Mo's Designs. We are a DIY community, but on this channel, not only do we do blinged out beautiful DIYs. Part of a DIY is doing it yourself, doing everything yourself, doing your own cooking, doing your own cleaning, um, you know, just anything that you can do yourself, whether it's painting a room, um, then you would do that. And that kind of entails our whole community. So we do all kinds of crafts here, but I also cook on this channel. I also teach um, life skills on this channel and you know I'll be doing a little bit of flashing a little bit of beauty but I've always done that as well as hauls so if that sounds like something that would interest you or you know someone that that would very much be interested and in something interesting to them then please subscribe to the channel I'm gonna put the little subscribe uh, button either down below that you can click and I'm gonna try and see if I can put one inside the video where I'm talking um, but anyway, I would welcome you into our community and so would everybody in our community. And on that note, today, like I said, I'm gonna put on a few lashes before I go ahead and do one of my blinged out ideas. And I'm gonna do a, a lipstick. And this blue looks really good with neutral tones as well as red tones. So I think today I'm gonna do a red lip and show you how I, when I wear a red lip, how I actually do it. But anyway, um, in order to do your lashes, you really do need to have a, when, a mirror on the side of you, whether it's a little handheld mirror or if it's a mirror like this, um, you just need to have a mirror. So this mirror happens to be double-sided it has a magnifying side and just your regular side. So um, I'm going to put on these lashes and what I like to do is just kind of shape my lashes a little bit before I attempt to put them on. So that's what I'm doing here. And the lash glue that I like to use is this one. I'm sure you guys know this one. Everybody talks about this one. I like this lash glue. Now I am gonna try a different lash glue that's waterproof uh, because my eyes tend to water after I put lashes on every time. Whether I'm having them done professionally with extensions because I used to rock extensions quite a bit but then I noticed my natural lashes which were already naturally fine and short seemed like they were kind of thinning on me a little bit so I kind of stopped um, and then whenever I decided that I want to wear lashes then I'll just put on a strip but nothing beats the look nothing beats the convenience of getting extensions so they're just gonna always be in my heart. I love extensions and I'm thinking about doing them again. But anyway, um, once you put the lash glue on your lash, you want the glue to dry a little bit so it can get tacky. When I'm putting on brand new lashes, I'll put a layer or two of glue on and let it dry because fresh lashes for some reason with me, and this is just my personal experience, Fresh lashes just don't want to stick and stay stuck uh, whenever I um, put them on. It's not until there's a few built up layers that they actually want to act right for me. So I'm going to grab my tweezers. Uh, actually, they're Polly Bear's tweezers. He's had them for years. I'm going to grab his tweezers, which will help me put these on. 
So these are his tweezers. Like I said, he's had them for years um, and he's very protective of them. But can you see how thick these are? That has a lot of weight to it. So you don't have to fear that you're gonna end up sticking yourself in the eye. Um, now I'm gonna add a little bit more glue, but um, his mother gave him these tweezers years and years and years ago. Um, and he's managed to hold on to them all these years. So we like to borrow and put right back. <laughs> that is a key, a little gem for um, any new wives out there. When your husband has something and he allows you to use it, put it back where it belongs, don't lose it. If you put it back where he puts it, it'll never get lost and he'll never accuse you of taking it, right? So anyway, I am just fanning my lashes. I'm gonna grab my tweezers and pick them up from my hand. And then this particular lash goes on this eye. So I'm gonna take my mirror and I've got it tilted. And the reason I got it tilted is because I'm gonna look down into the mirror like this to put my lash on, okay? And there you go. Now you can always go in with a black eyeliner if you want to, and then you'll just go underneath your lash line. There's a name for it. It's just, it escapes me right now, but you can do that instead of lining on top, like you see all the young girls doing, giving themselves cat eyes, and just sticking the lash on so you can't see that there's a two millimeter gap between their lash line and where the lash band starts. Me, I like to do it the old school way and put it as close to your lash line as possible because you can always use a black eyeliner underneath following your waterline to darken it up, which helps to hide the band. And you're putting the band on more precisely. Um, if you guys actually want like a tutorial, tutorial slowed down with the only thing I focus on is putting on a lash, which I'm pretty sure someone on YouTube has already done that. But you know, you guys, um, if that's something you wanna see me do, then just let me know and I will do that for you guys. But like I said, I know that there are videos on YouTube already on how to put lashes on, but everybody has a different teaching style and a different learning style. And if you like my voice that much, <laughs> or the way that uh, I try to teach, and you want me to show you, your granddaughter, your daughter, your nieces, how to how to put on a lash, then I can definitely do that. And I don't mind. So here's the second lash. And these are just regular Ardell Wispies. I think they make like a 3D Wispy now, but um, these are just the regular Wispies that I get in like a pack of three or a pack of five, whatever it happens to be on sale at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this lash on and then we'll go on to the lip. And so there you have it. Now I just let that glue dry down while I work on the lip and go put his tweezer back. Okay, and so for the lip, I am gonna use a MAC pencil. This is a pencil called Night Moth. It is a burgundy toned pencil, aubergine if you like that word better. Um, and then this is a Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink. I just picked this one up from Walgreens. It's the number, it looks like it is 019. And I think it's called My Own Room. Something like that, but anyway, the number is 019. So, I am going to take out my pencil. 
Now if you notice that there's a sheen already to my lips, that is this product. It is a collagen that I put on my lips at night and sometimes in the mornings I'll put it on. But it's called Soma Lux, and I hope that you can see that. And I order it off of Amazon. Um, I'll put the link down below, but it's, it's on Amazon, so just go check it out on Amazon. I'll put the link down for the lipsticks and the um, lip liners and all of that, but you know, you guys don't have to use the links. Just know that if you do, they're more than likely gonna be an affiliate link, so there's a small little percentage that goes back to the channel here, but never feel obligated that you have to use those links. Um, one of my good subscribers here let me know that on the video that I did with um, showing y'all the Totally Dazzle, that tool, she said that Walmart has that tool as well as Amazon has that tool, um, but as far as the tips and the crystals and things like that, um, she didn't say, but I'm assuming that the tool came with the same tips, but it might not have. But anyway, if you're wanting one of those tools, pick it up. You don't have to use the link that I created um, down in the description box. If you do, then thank you very much. But if you don't, don't feel like you're obligated. Whatever your money says you can do, do that. Um, and then once I actually use the tool, then you'll get to see the different tips and what I do with it. And you can decide if you want to go ahead and get it from um, totallydazzle.com. So anyway, on that note, I'm going to take a cotton round and just clear my lips of the collagen because you know I, I think my lips are uh, thinning. I really feel that way. So because I feel that way, I found this collagen balm that I feel helps plump them up a little bit instead of the um, extreme, that extreme lip injection, which I do like. That one does plump it. But if it's a chemical, obviously, because it burns. <laughs> so if I can just put a moisturizing balm that has collagen in it that's supposed to help plump the lips, then I'll, I'll use that instead. So anyway, pencil, night moth, right? I just take it and I line my lips. If you happen to have one of those clear lip liners because you suffer from feathering from the color uh, around your mouth, then you can put that clear liner down first before you line it with this pencil, okay? If that's something that um, you suffer with. So I always start at my Cupid's bow. A lot of people nowadays overline their lips and I don't do that. I also don't connect the peaks of my Cupid's bow together. Why don't I do that? If you look closely, my cupid's bow is very pronounced. And because of that, I feel it would look really foolish if I drew a line from this mountain peak <laughs> to this mountain peak. I, I don't feel that that would round my mouth out, but one day we'll test it out. So, I go ahead and follow my lip line. And then I press my lips together. And when you do that, you can still see that <laughs> I have a mountain's peak, right? And that's okay, because that's the way Jehovah made me. But that I cover up by completely filling in my bottom lip line. Okay, just like that. And now I'll color in the sides, a little bit of the middle, and feather that out. And you may think, right now, oh, why? Oh, why, dear? 
do you do that? Well, this is not a red lip liner. It is a burgundy color. A very deep, kind of vampy, burgundy color, right? But I'm doing a red lip. So it's gonna need to be blended. And this allows me to blend it beautifully. Now naturally I'm darker here in the center. So I do play that up. Okay, so that's how I do my lip lining. Me, I always put my pencils back in their case. Um, I've just, I've done that since I've started wearing makeup. I've always done that for years. So now this is the first time I'm opening and using this lip color. So we're gonna see how it does. Okay. It is really pretty. and purse your lips together, like so. Video. You finished your video? Nope. Don't talk too much when you're talking. And you, should, you gotta blink something, because if you blink something, then it gets I'm sent doing out a video. to people who wanna blink something. Yeah, that, and I'm gonna do that, but I'm getting ready for camera. I like my uh, pants you recommended. Look, you said these look good on me. What do y'all think? Do y'all think his pants oh, look good? No, I didn't know you were on video. Yeah, I kept telling you I was filming. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. You better not put me on there with my stained shirt. Uh-huh, but it matches me. And my father You're blue, I'm shadow. blue. You're blue and I'm blue. Okay, you got me there. What's up with that <laughs> lipstick? I'm you teaching them how to do a red lip. Tooth. That's okay. Gotcha. What you gonna do? What you gonna be? Who you gonna be? What you gonna do? Okay. So guys, you know he has to be a part of everything. No, I don't. I didn't know you were in here doing that. So I just put, you put as much or as little as you like for your lips. Now, I think this is just the right amount and it is blended out perfectly. And I hope that you guys can see there's no feathering. It's not a harsh line, but it's beautifully blended. Now, if you don't like this here in the center, don't do it. But I naturally have a beauty mark, beauty stain, whatever, hyperpigmentation, whatever you wanna call it, in the center of my lips. And I think what it does is it draws attention to my lip pillows. What do you think? <laughs> but anyway, I do love this lip. This technique is flawless. It really and truly is flawless. And like I said, it's the Color Stay Satin Ink. Very first time I'm trying this red. Very first time. And it's beautiful. Normally I use one of the MAC Lippies, which is usually Ruby Woo or Russian Red. Uh, and those are actually lipsticks. This one, I think it might be a lip stain. I'm not sure. But again, the color is 019. I'll link it below, but you can always go to Walgreens, just like I did, and pick it up. I'll show it to you again. Color Stay Satin Ink. Can I put your music All right. in it? I think you love this color, Dustin. <laughs> let me get a kiss in it. No, let it dry. <laughs> okay. okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>
put that in for real? Absolutely. Yeah.